Hi Bold Bakers, welcome to a brand new year of Bigger Bolder Baking. We're gonna kick things off here with something you probably didn't know you could make at home, breakfast cereal. It takes just a few ingredients, no special equipment, and it tastes even better than store-bought. As always, the recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com and make sure you check out my website because I've got over 500 recipes and lots more videos over there. Okay, let's get started in a nice big bowl. So the cereal that we're making is bran flakes. Now one of the key ingredients there is whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour is really good for you. It is full of vitamin B, iron, calcium, protein. It is the whole wheat kernel smashed. There's germ in here, there is bran. It's all the good stuff that you don't have in white flour. So I'm gonna add that into my bowl. So the next ingredient that makes this cereal really good for you is wheat bran, also known as bran. Now you can easily get this in most supermarkets. I'm also gonna put a link online on my website of where you can buy this. It's really inexpensive. Now what bran is, it is a layer of the wheat kernel. It is really high in minerals and really great source of fiber, super good for you. It is generally what's stripped away during the processing of flour. So we're gonna add that back in. So our next ingredient is a really important one because it actually holds everything together. It is ground flax. Ground flax is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, all these good fats that you want. It's really fantastic. You see me use this as an egg replacement sometimes. It's really great to have a pack of it in your cupboard and then you always have some to hand. And you can also buy this easily in most supermarkets. And then of course, we're gonna add in a little bit of salt because salt just brings out the flavor in all the other ingredients. And then with a spatula, just mix all these ingredients together. So I thought this was a really good recipe to kick off the new year. So I'm gonna put the nutritional value, the calorie count, all of that stuff on the website. Okay, this looks good. That's our dry ingredients. Now let's mix together our wet. So into a separate jug, we're gonna add in some water, a little bit of flavorless oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You can also use coconut oil. So now my secret ingredient is molasses, also known as treacle. This just adds a lot of depth and kind of a caramel flavor to your breakfast cereal. If you don't have this, you can also replace it with honey. And then just mix your wet ingredients together with a fork. Simply add your wet ingredients into your dry and then with a spatula, mix it all together. So you'll only get so far with your spatula. What you want to do is get in there with your hands and pull it together. What we're looking for is a dough that's kind of on the drier side than the wet. So now the treacle in this cereal does add a little bit of sweetness, but if you want it a little bit sweeter, you can also add in two tablespoons of brown sugar into your dry ingredients. But to be honest with you, I don't think it needs it, especially if you're gonna have it with bananas, milk, all that sort of stuff. So my dough is a little bit dry and it's not coming together. So I'm going to add in a tiny bit more water, just less than a tablespoon and then just keep on forming it until it makes a ball. Perfect, I've got a ball of dough, I've got a clean bowl, that means that we did something right. Now, our next step is to roll this out. So here I have a nice clean rimless baking tray. I like this tray to make this cereal because it has no edges, so it makes it really easy to roll. However, you can use any cookie sheet or tray that you have. Just make sure it's nice and big. So first things first, you want to brush your tray with a little bit of vegetable oil. And this will just make sure that your cereal will peel away once it's baked. Greasing your tray also makes it so much easier to roll out your dough. So here I have my dough onto my tray. I'm gonna push it down a little bit. So on top of your dough, I'm gonna put a nice big sheet of parchment paper. To make your life easier when you're rolling out your cereal, put a tea towel underneath your tray and it just holds it in place. And I've got my rolling pin and all you have to do is just roll your dough out as thin as you can. The thinner you roll your dough, the nicer your cereal will be. So it might take a few minutes, but just keep on going and get it as thin as possible. Don't worry because you can't get it too thin. So it'll take a few minutes to get this really nice and thin. What you're going for is getting it as thin as a cracker, so really crisp. Just keep going. Perfect, so I think I've rolled my dough as thin as I possibly can. Now it's time to pop it into the oven. So you wanna bake your cereal off at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius for roughly 50 minutes or until it gets nice and dry and crisp. So one of the reasons I love to eat this cereal in the morning is because it's made of complex carbs, which means they're slow releasing. So it'll keep you full for much longer. So it's a really great way to start out your day and keep you going until lunchtime. 
So it's been 50 minutes and our cereal smells amazing. You can tell when it's done because you can see by looking at it that it's nice and dry and crisp and that's exactly what we want. So right now, just set this over to the side for around 20 minutes or so and let it cool down completely. So this next part is the fun part. How we're gonna make cereal out of this big sheet is simply cracking it and just break it up into small little pieces just like you would with cereal. Just break your cereal up until you have bite-sized pieces. Store your finished cereal in an airtight container for up to three to four weeks. It'll make around three cups of cereal. Enjoy your cereal with milk and you can even add in fruit like raisins for an all natural sweetness. Like I said earlier, even better than store bought and definitely crunchy. I love when you can take something that's normally store bought and make it from scratch. And this is a perfect example of it. Mm. I'm thrilled with the results of this cereal, so let me know in the comments below what other cereals you'd like to see me make from scratch. And I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.